Hey everybody, welcome to Goshen Prepping, a short video. Nevertheless, a very important one because there's more articles out about possible, even probable shortages coming out this fall, this winter, and we have to be ready for this. We always wanna keep on top of it. So stay through all this, make sure you have everything, all these things stocked up, and let's get to it. 2024, food shortage predictions. Inputs for production become pricier, and so do the end products, yep. This is caused by Europe, the Middle East, all the stuff happening in those areas. The cost of living is going up as well. Not to mention droughts and storms, and of course, food prices become more expensive. So first listed, wheat, flour, and bread. We've talked about this many times, mostly because of Ukraine, but we also have global famines and droughts causing this. Because of this, the average cost of flour has already gone up 28%. We've certainly talked about rice. There's a worldwide rice shortage, droughts, floods, and extreme weather. Partly because the demand for wheat, now people have been going into rice, pushing prices higher. Not to mention, if you didn't know it, India has an export ban on rice as well. And besides canned food, I always talk about get lots and lots and lots of rice and beans, right? Dry rice, dry beans. It's amazing how inexpensive it is, stores incredibly well. It is like the perfect prepping food as long as you have enough essential fats coming in. And that's where canned food comes in. Eggs, yep, we talked about the avian flu. There's not a whole lot of problems going on right now, but they said in global aid production, there's a problem. And they say not only is the direct production of eggs at risk, but the perceived threat can also trigger changes in the behavior. Therefore, we have not just a steady demand, but a fluctuations in demand. Same thing with chicken. Avian flu has caused a problem in the production of chicken as well, both supply and pricing. They say there's a delicate balance in the poultry industry where the health of the birds directly impacts the availability and cost of, here it is, essential protein sources, including eggs and chicken meat. And eggs and chicken are prepper's best friends. Eggs, the perfect food. And chicken is an inexpensive meat, well, typically anyway, to be able to prep and carry on. Cooking oil, seed oils, and olive oil. First off, my input, drop the seed oils. They're so bad for you. Olive oil is where it's at. And they even say that too, look, we don't eat seed oils, but prefer they prefer lard. I don't eat that either. But ghee and real fats, oh, that's where it's at. But a good quality olive oil, which is a huge thing. But we have problems with weather in Italy, therefore a reduced production of olive oil. And unfortunately, for people who do use like vegetable oil, soy, canola, corn oils, they're having continued price hikes as well. Blame it on poor harvest and severe weather. And in our house, we do love olive oil, coconut oil and such. But one of the things we love to cook in, butter. And that's the next shortage, butter. Dairy farms have been shutting down across the United States, paving the way for more frequent dairy shortages. Yep, that is true. Tomatoes, there's a shortage of tomatoes, if you didn't know. And of course, all the products made with tomatoes, sauces, canned tomato products, etc., causing possible potential price hikes. And this is a big one, beef. Feed cost, water scarcity, not to mention the continued attack on those of us who love to eat beef. As farmers are liquidating and exit at ranching, there are price fluctuations. No, there are major price rises in beef. Beef's getting really expensive. And if you notice beef prices are dropping at some store, you might want to actually get a chest freezer and stock up. Prices won't stay down for long. Yes, obviously, storage. You want to be able to store your meat. Freezer's good, obviously, but if you can learn to can, a canner is a really good investment, and can your meat and your beef and stuff. That way it stays practically forever without refrigeration. Oh, here we go, canned foods. The continued increasing cost and scarcity of aluminum is making canned goods more expensive. Canned tuna and other sources of quality protein are likely to see price increases just because of the cans, for sure. And I always talk about canned food being the perfect prepping thing at last practically, definitely. I have lots of videos about that too. But not to mention rising costs of ingredients and packaging are also impacting pet foods. And this is something a lot of people don't take in consideration is making sure you stockpile for your pets as well. Canned food for pets is the way to go. But the prices on those are also going up. Not to mention we're having shortages. Fruits. Prices are definitely going up. Oranges, mangoes, bananas. Oh, bananas. And obviously we're out of season for a lot of fruits right now anyway, but nevertheless, the prices are above what they normally should be. There's some things for you, 11 things you want to look at as far as stockpiling, putting on the head of the line to make sure you have this stuff and stockpile it while you can. What would you add to the list? There's lots of things that are coming into shortages as we get into the winter. And as always, thanks for watching.